Inquisitor, meet Hawk, the champion of Kirkwall. Though I don't use that title much anymore. Hawk, the Inquisitor. I figured you might have some friendly advice about Corypheus. You and I did fight him, after all. You've already dropped half a mountain on the bastard. I'm sure anything I can tell you pales in comparison. Oh, I don't know. You did save a city from a horde of rampaging Kunari. I don't see how that really applies. Or is there a horde of rampaging Kunari I don't know about? There's a Kunari. He almost qualifies as a horde all by himself. Fortunately, he's on our side. So, then, what can I tell you? Varric said that you fought Corypheus before. Fought and killed. The Grey Wardens were holding him, and he somehow used his connection to the Darkspawn to influence them. Corypheus got into their heads, messed with their minds, turned them against each other. If the Wardens have disappeared, they could have fallen under his control again. So Corypheus has the Venatori, the Red Templars, and now possibly the Wardens as well. Wonderful. I didn't come this far just to give you bad news. I've got a friend in the Wardens. He was investigating something unrelated for me. His name is Stroud. The last time we spoke, he was worried about corruption in the Warden ranks. Since then, nothing. Corypheus would certainly qualify as corruption in the ranks. Did your friend disappear with them? No. He told me he'd be hiding in an old smuggler's cave near Crestwood. I'll take any lead I can get at the moment. Good. I'll do whatever I can to help. Corypheus is my responsibility. I thought I'd killed him before. This time I'll make sure of it. Inquisitor. I heard you had family and friends in Kirkwall. Where are they now? My brother's a Grey Warden. I had my friend Aveline take him as far from Orlais as possible. When all the Wardens started acting strangely, I had to keep my family safe. Fenris would have killed himself to protect me. I didn't want to give him that chance. You knew where Hawk was all along! You're damned right I did. You conniving little shit. You kidnapped me. You interrogated me. What did you expect? Hey, enough! You're taking his side? I said enough! We needed someone to lead this Inquisition. First, Liliana and I searched for the hero of Ferelden, but she had vanished. Then, we looked for Hawk, but she was gone too. We thought it all connected, but no. It was just you. You who kept her from us. The Inquisition has a leader. Hawk would have been at the Conclave if anyone could have saved Most Holy... You can't change the past, Cassandra. So I must accept... what? That the Maker wanted all this to happen? That he... That he... Varric is a liar, Inquisitor. A snake. Even after the Conclave, when we needed Hawk most, Varric kept her secret. She's with us now. We're on the same side. We all know whose side you're on, Varric. It will never be the Inquisition's. Attacking him now won't help us, Cassandra. Ha! Exactly! And you better not be keeping anything else from us. Ugh. I understand. I must not think of what could have been. We have so much at stake. Go, Varric. Just... go. You know what I think? If Hawk had been at the temple, she'd be dead too. You people have done enough to her. I believed him. 
He spun his story for me and I swallowed it. If I just explained what was at stake, if I just made him understand. But I didn't, did I? I didn't explain why we needed Hawk. I'm such a fool. Have you looked at our Inquisition, Cassandra? We're all fools here. <laughs> Is that supposed to make me feel better? More at home, maybe. I want you to know, I have no regrets. Maybe if we'd found Hawk or the hero of Ferelden, the Maker wouldn't have needed to send you. But he did. You're not what I pictured. But if I've learned anything, it's that I know less than nothing.